Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday. We're back at the Connecticut Science Center, of course, with Aoife Ryle. Good morning. Good morning. So, um, you know, containers for food, they all have the nutritional value on them. Yeah. And perhaps people want to know, how do you figure out what calorie content something has? Like, how is that actually calculated? Exactly, right. yeah. And so I was really interested in that, and I did a little research. First of all, what is a calorie, <laughs> right? We all know that word, but what is it? And so a calorie is actually just a unit of energy, okay. um, and which makes sense is because we eat food to give us energy. So uh, in order to measure the calories in something, we have to measure the energy that it can store and then release. Okay. So um, scientists use that using a tool called a calorimeter. Okay. I love when the words tell you <laughs> what it is. Measures calories. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so we can actually make a homemade one here, and you can totally try this at home. Um, with adult supervision because you do have to light something on fire. All right. Um, but the way this works is we are going to measure the change in temperature of water. Okay. And that's going to tell us how much heat is or how much energy is released. And we should point out, I don't know if we've done this yet. We're talking about an almond. Yes. Yes, we're doing. Yes. We're, we're going to check out the <laughs> calorie content of an almond. Yeah. All right. Very and good. you can try out a bunch of different things, but I figured almond. Why not? So I have my almond down here. Um, it's suspended on a paper clip. So um, we know that only the almond is burning. And then above it, I have a can. So you can use any soda can you want. And we are gonna fill it with 50 milliliters of water, which is also 50 grams of water. It's the nice thing about water. Grams Perfect. milliliter. All right. So water's in there. Um, next, we need a thermometer. So we are gonna measure the initial temperature of the water, right? And you'd also measure the initial weight of your food. Okay. okay? And then here comes the fun part. We gotta light our almond on fire. Let's see All if it right. catches. Get it? Almost. Almost. We're almost, almost there. All right. So. So you're gonna let the, you're gonna catch your your food on fire. Yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna let it burn as long as it will burn for. Okay. Um, and we're gonna measure the change in temperature. There it goes. It's burning a little bit the change in temperature of the water in the can. All right. That's what the thermometer is there for. And we should point out that there is some math involved. Yes. So you're gonna, you have this all set up at ctsciencecenter.com.org, I should say, slash blog. Yeah. So you're gonna put everything that we're doing today on the blog. Yes. So that'll have um, all of the math you have to do associated with this. Um, so once your almond burns down, and I'm actually gonna put this out right now, because I don't want to set off our fire system. Sure, smart. <laughs> but you would leave your almond burn until it stops burning on its own. You would measure the ending weight of that amount of food. You need to measure the ending temperature of your water. All right. And then all you got to do is measure, is uh, multiply the change in temperature by the amount of water you had, 50 right. grams, and that's your calories. So it's a sleepy Sunday morning. Yeah. Again, all this is on the blog. Yes. So it's a lot to take in. Yes. Nothing too complex math-wise. Yeah. But you know, you can then determine the caloric content. Exactly. A little bit of multiplication, but again, check out the blog for that and all you know items you can find at home. Excellent. Yeah. Good stuff. And we should let folks know about something happening. What this Thursday? Yes. Yeah. Science Center. Yeah, December tenth. Okay. Um, is a, a diversity and clinical trials event. It's virtual from six to seven, and it's a pay-as-you-wish program. All right, so it, it's a panel yes. of folks, and they go into the, the background of how vaccine trials are done and that, that whole process, and I believe there's actually somebody from Pfizer that's gonna be on that on that panel. Yeah, yeah, so I'm really excited about it. It should be really interesting, um, it's, you know, again, about clinical trials, how they work, and also why it's important to have diversity in them. So. All right, and we should point out, as you mentioned, pay-as-you-go. So you can pay a dollar, you can pay $10, whatever you feel that you can contribute, and mm -hmm. that helps support the Science Center. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. Eva, thank you so much, and of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend. Okay.